Council Member Moore. Thank you, Chair, uh, for recognizing me. I have a couple announcements. Um, one of those announcements is that uh, O&E Barnes Scholarship are having their annual celebration on Saturday, July the tw 21st at 9.30 a.m. And if you want to contribute to the o and &E Barnes Scholarship, it's for students in that area, and they go to different uh, different colleges once the, once the funding is received. So again, they are celebrating their awards, uh, scholarship, O&E, Organized Neighbors of Edge Hill, and, and uh, Reverend Barnes Scholarship Fund. Uh, if you want to contribute, if you want more information about what they do, the number is 256-4617. The second thing is that Salama Ministries or oh, Salama Institute is putting on the WIS, and it starts on July the 20th through the 21st, 22nd, and it's going to be at the Belmont University Trout Theater. Again, these students put on such a wonderful job uh, when they are uh, producing these kind of plays. And it's called The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, and it's going to be held, and it's put on by Salama students. And again, it's going to be um, Friday, starting Friday, July 20th, uh, at, uh, and Saturday at 7 p.m., and then Sunday, July the 22nd at 4.30 p.m. If you want more information about this wonderful play, The Wiz, uh, please call Salama Ministries or Salama Institute at 251-4050. Again, this is a wonderful play. I have been to their plays before, and they are absolutely outstanding. Also, I want to let uh, those in District 17, please. Um, council Member Moore, hold okay. on just one second. I'm sorry, uh, another council member from the floor said they could not hear. I'm going to ask once again if we could uh, be quiet while we have announcements. Thank you. Please continue. Thank you, Chair. Also, do not forget that Tuesday, August the 7th is uh, Night Out Against Crime. And just want to let the viewer and audience know that Edge Hill is going to have theirs that night as well at Gurnett Studio starting from 3 to 7. Again, uh, Night Out Against Crime and Edge Hill is doing theirs uh, at the Gurnett Studio Apartments uh, on Tuesday, August the 7th from 3 to 7 p.m. Thank you so much, Chair, for letting me share my announcement. Thank you, Council Member Moore. Council Member Evans. Thank you, um, Speaker Pro Tem. On behalf of Council Members Holloman, McGuire, Todd, Barry, Tigert, Stein, and Evans, um, I'd like to invite everyone to a community meeting at Julia Green, which will be on the 26th of July, starting at 6.30. We'll have representatives from uh, schools, from planning, from public works, codes, to, um, and the principal of Julia Green, uh, Robin Casey, to talk about the challenges and opportunities um, that we face with respect to growth in the Hillsborough cluster. So I encourage everybody to attend. 10, starts at 6.30. It'll be a panel format. It'll be moderated by our good friend, former Councilman Jim, Shul Jim Shulman. So everybody come on out. Thank you, Councilmember Evans. Councilmember Stanley. Thank you. Uh, I, I want to uh, uh, initiate the or uh, uh, announce a meeting, a public meeting, community meeting we're going to be having on uh, June 20, uh, July 26th at 7 p.m. at the Hermitage Police Precinct. It's for the uh, resident citizens of uh, Hickory Hill Lane, Nora Lane, Eversong Lane, at Stones River State's subdivision. About four years ago, I got a uh, traffic calming uh, program placed on Hickory Hill Lane and it has uh, been, uh, it's lacked in uh, controlling the commuter traffic along this residential artery. And uh, there are a number of items that the uh, traffic calming program can place on this street to uh, make it more uh, neighborhood friendly. And uh, I wish uh, all these residents along Hickory Hill Lane, Nor Lane, Eversong Lane, and also in Hermitage Hills, uh, the Stones River Estates and Hermitage Hills subdivisions, they both have 1,370 homes on 420 acres. But a lot of commuters access these residential arteries 
on a daily basis as they cut through from Old Tigger Boulevard to Lebanon Pike in the morning and in the evening when they go back from Lebanon Pike to Old Tigger Boulevard. They don't want to go through all these traffic signals and so they uh, cut through these residential arteries and they uh, create a large, uh, dangerous atmosphere uh, environment for the uh, citizens uh, of the uh, homeowning citizens of uh, 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 Hermitage Hills and Stones River States. And I will say that uh, on uh, uh, July 26th at 7 p.m. at the Hermitage Police Precinct, we're going to have that meeting, and there will be representatives from Public Works and also a representative from the Police Department that will be addressing the meeting. I look forward to having you at that meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Stanley. Councilmember Claiborne. Thank you, Madam Speaker. A uh, couple of uh, events coming up in District 15 that I'd like to announce. Uh, a week from this coming Saturday night, uh, on July the 28th, will be the second uh, Music at the Mansion presentation. Uh, this is a bluegrass night that we're having. Um, Roland White, who is a bluegrass legend in the Nashville area, lives in the Donaldson uh, community, and also the Bluegrass Celebration, two great uh, groups. That uh, begins at 7 p.m. on uh, the 28th. Um, admission is $5 a person, $20 a car, and folks who are members of Friends of Two Rivers get in free if they show their membership card. So uh, those of you who like uh, bluegrass music, this would be a great event for you. July the 28th, music at the mansion, Two Rivers Mansion, 3130 McGavick Pike. Then on uh, August the 7th, the night out against crime, from six to eight, uh, there are about uh, seven different community organizations are coming together at McGavick High School to have a um, uh, night out uh, gathering. Police department, sheriff's department, uh, and uh, be jumpy toys for the kids. Uh, some of the food trucks will be on hand, and so it'll be a great uh, night to come out and visit with some of the neighbors and uh, enjoy the uh, efforts of uh, Hip Donaldson. Uh, the best uh, website that's uh, on Facebook right now. And so uh, shout out to Frank True, to uh, Jeff uh, Syracuse, and to Andrew Bradley for the work that they do on Hip Donaldson. And they are the sponsors of this organization for District 15. So uh, everybody turn out. Night out Against Crime, August the 7th, 6 to 8. Thank you, Council Member Claiborne. Council Member Westerholm. Thank you very much. Just wanted to remind people that the Watermarks Art Project, which is a public art project to commemorate the flood, uh, there's one for the East Nashville area that will be placed near the bridge going over the Cumberland, and it's done by a uh, very renowned artist, Christopher Fennell. He is requesting to use tools, hand tools primarily, not no power tools, but hand tools that were used in the flood or any old tools that may be around and he's going to use those to craft a sculpture. So anyone who has any old tools that are sitting around that aren't being used, especially if they were utilized within the, uh, the flood repair two years ago, they're encouraged to drop those off at the Shelby Bottom Nature Center at 1900 Davison Street. Thank you, Council Member Westerholm. Council Member Anthony Davis. I knew I'd punch the button right after him. Thank you, Chair. Uh, two quick announcements. Um, first, this Thursday, July 19th, we'll be having our Rosebank Neighbor Association meeting. Um, that will be held at the Memorial Lutheran Church on Riverside Drive. Uh, again, that's this Thursday, the 19th at 6.30 p.m. Uh, so if you live in the Rosebank area, uh, which is the area near Stratford High School, uh, please come out and join us, uh, especially if you haven't been before. Uh, that'll be a potluck meeting as well, so there'll be food available. Uh, and please bring something. Um, also, August 1st, it's a Wednesday morning. Um, the Nashville Chamber East will be having our first Wednesday coffee meeting. That'll be held at 7.30 a.m. at the Martha O'Brien Center. Uh, so please come out and have some coffee with East Nashville business leaders uh, and community leaders. Again, it's August 1st, 7.30 a.m. at Martha O'Brien Center. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Council Member Davis. Council Member Lankster. Thank you, Madam Speaker Pro Tem. I have um, 
three announcements. The first one, ladies and gentlemen of the 21st District and uh, the entire city as a whole, don't forget Night Out Against Crime. Uh, for the 21st District, there will be one at Engine Company 11, 1745 David Todd Boulevard. Also, the Mount Nebo Baptist Church, they have a very great, big Night Out Against Crime. Uh, so you have two good locations where you can go and um, uh, spend a good evening finding out about safety and security measures for your home and neighborhood. Also, I would like to remind parents that whether you believe it or not, it's almost time to go back to school, August the 1st. So don't forget, back to school immunizations and physicals are available at three clinics. Free shots are being offered to students, uh, which uh, is acquired by Metro government, uh, seventh graders, kindergartners, and pre uh, kindergarten students. There are three different locations under United Neighborhood Health Centers. One is at Dickerson, on Dickerson Road Clinic, 1223 Dickerson Road. The next one is Main Street Clinic, 905 Main Street. And the third, Southside Family Clinic at 1101 Charles S. Davis Boulevard. Please, parents, this is a free uh, shot for your children by, uh, given by the United Health Organization. And also, just briefly, I'd like to wish my mother, Willa Taylor, a very happy, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Lankster. Council Member Dominey. Thank you, Speaker Pro Tem. Uh, residents of District 28, in particular those that live on Johnson Ridge Road, Johnson Ridge Pass and Johnson Ridge Court and Treetop. There is a group starting a neighborhood watch in the, that area uh, to begin to help address some of the concerns in the neighborhood and empower residents to uh, improve our quality of life in that area. And I encourage you to make plans to participate in that meeting. It's scheduled for Saturday, July 28th at 1 p.m. We're going to meet in the back uh, porch of 2509 Johnson Ridge Road. And again, that's 2509 Johnson Ridge Road. Come out, participate in that. And also, residents in the, across the district, if you're interested in starting a neighborhood watch, uh, please contact me. We're planning on having a uh, representative from the South Police Precinct, and most likely uh, Sergeant Taylor Schmitz will be present at the 28th meeting. And we'd love to help you get one started there also. It's just a great way to help empower residents and improve our community and help build communities. So I hope you'll come out. I'll see you on Saturday at 1 o'clock, 28th of July. Thank you, Council Member Dominey. Council Member Bennett. Thank you, Pro Tem. I appreciate the opportunity to speak. Uh, I want to announce a community event that is a multi-district one. So this is included with Councilmember Anthony Davis, Bill Pridemore, and Doug Pardue. We are having the annual Madison Rivergate Chamber of Commerce breakfast. It will be this Thursday, July 19th at 7 a.m. So that means you got to get up early. I know. I saw some wincing there, but that's okay. It's a really good event. Very political. If you haven't met all the candidates running, great opportunity. All the council members are invited to join us. Any of the residents in the area, please join us. Again, Madison Rivergate Chamber breakfast, community breakfast, 7 a.m. this Thursday the 19th. It will be held at Amqui Station in Madison, 301B Madison Street. So it is a free breakfast donated by the local businesses. Please come out and join us. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Bennett. Council Member Dow. Thank you. I just wanted to announce that District 32 will also be observing the National Night Out Against Crime. Uh, it's going to be in conjunction with the Crossings Nashville Action Partnership. It will be held at 5380 Hickory Hollow Parkway on Tuesday, August the 7th, uh, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. I'm inviting all neighbors to come out and participate. Uh, historically, we've had the largest night out uh, in the city, and we want to continue that tradition. Uh, any neighbor looking to volunteer, please give me a call or send me an email, and I'll be happy to put them 
them in touch with the people planning that event. And last, I want to say thank you to all of my neighbors who came out this morning to our first senior informational breakfast. Uh, we had Trustee Charlie Cardwell come out and speak with us, along with Marvin Cox from the Metro Action Commission, and also Councilman Fabian Bedney spoke um, on behalf of uh, a nonprofit organization he's involved in. If there's any neighbor that did not get an opportunity to participate uh, in the coffee this morning and breakfast and still would like information about the tax freeze and tax relief program, feel free to give me a call and I'll be happy to uh, share that information with them. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Dow. Council Member Allen. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd like to announce that there will be a community meeting uh, on Wednesday, July 18th to talk about the development of 511 Chesterfield. Um, it'll just be an informational session. They're not looking for zoning changes, but lots of neighbors are interested in this project. So um, we will be at the Seventh-day Adventist Church um, on 2800 Blair from 530 to 7. And I invite any neighbor who is interested in finding out what's going to be happening on that property to come and ask questions. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Allen. Council Member Scott Davis. Thank you, Madam Pro Tem. Um, just want to do a couple of quick announcements. Um, I have a bill coming on to um, second reading on August 7th. I'm going to ask for that move to be deferred to September the September public hearing meeting. I just wanted to publicly announce that. That's the bill involving the rezoning uh, parcel on Lucas Lane involving the LKQ Corporation. Um, I'll be asking for that to be deferred till the September public hearing meeting. Also, I wanted to talk about um, District 5, along with the conjunction of other parts of East Nashville, and with the help of Councilman Anthony Davis, Peter Westerholm, and Council Lady Karen Bennett, we are going to be having our night out against crime for East Nashville on North 2nd Street, which is my district. We're going to have the stage, and I thank Metro Parks for that, on the 800 block of North 2nd. North 2nd is probably the street that has the most crime in my district, and so we're really going to focus on that as a East Nashville community, just kind of show the people on that street that they are not alone in that struggle of what goes on that street. And I just want to thank my colleagues for their cooperation, and thank you very much and have a great one. Thank you, Council Member Scott Davis. Council Member Johnson. Thank you, Madam Pro Tem Gilmore. Uh, for all in District 29, I again want to invite everyone out to my monthly office hours uh, on Saturday, July 28th at 2360 Murfreesboro Pike at the First Tennessee Bank from 10 a.m. until 12 noon. Uh, please come out, share with me um, your ideas, and to have discussions on things going on in our district of concern. Also, I would like to share that the Night Out Against Crime event um, this year for District 29 will be a collaborative event for all neighborhoods uh, to include organized neighborhood associations, neighborhood watch groups, uh, civic clubs, and others. And so that event will be held at Smith Springs Church of Christ and Priest Lake Presbyterian Church. The address is 2783 and 2787. The event will span across both properties. Um, so it'll be a pretty large event. If you're interested in volunteering uh, to help with that event, please give me a call, 977-6721, or email me at karen.johnson at nashville.gov. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Johnson. Council Member Pridemore. Thank you, Madam Pro Tem. Uh, I also want to announce uh, Nashville's cr Night Out Against Crime, Mayor's Night Out Against Crime. It will be held in the Madison community. It is also a joint effort by several districts, uh, Council Lady Bennett and Pardue and I, other, uh, I think Councilman Davis is probably, uh, has some in the Madison area that will hopefully attend. It's at Madison Park. August 7th starts at 5 to 7.30. So we're going to have plenty of police personnel there with all their little gadgets and to show all the, everyone uh, what's their latest uh, uses of their uh, uh, and tactics of uh, fighting crime in Nashville. Also want to announce on Thursday we have the Nine Owls Neighborhood Watch meeting at the Madison Library. It's uh, for the uh, Neighborhood Watch area around Myatt Drive, 
uh, Anderson Lane, May Drive in that area. And it's at six o'clock again at Madison Library. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Pride Moore. Are there more, not any more um, council members in the queue? I wanted to share something and then I was gonna ask Council Member Jergen, uh, Jernigan to come forward. Uh, this Saturday at uh, Napier Center from nine to one, they're having a the health fair and I wanted to invite everyone to come out. It's a wonderful health fair. This is the annual health fair. Once again, it's Napier Community Park Center and that's from nine to one. Also, um, Council Member Jernigan. You're welcome. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I've, I've got a proclamation that I'm going to do during announcements instead of during the meeting. So, uh, yay. Uh, this is uh, Park and Recreation Month. Uh, Congress passed that, and we're going to recognize that in the city of Nashville. I'd like for Tommy Lynch, Director of Parks, to come up, and George Anderson, the chair of the Parks Commission, to come and join me. And anyone that has a... Uh, Anyone who has a park in their district, they'd like to come up and, and schmooze up to these guys, you're welcome to come up too. But this is, a rec this is a resolution recognizing July as Park and Recreation Month in the city of Nashville. So uh, bear with me. Whereas parks and recreation programs are the integral part of communities throughout this country, including Nashville and Davidson County, and whereas our parks and recreation are vitally important to establishing and maintaining the quality of life in our communities, ensuring the health of our citizens, and, con and contributing to the economic and environmental well-being in the community and region. And whereas parks and recreation programs increase a community's economic prosperity through increased property values, expansion of the local tax base, increased tourism, the attraction and retention of businesses, and crime reductions. And whereas parks and recreation areas are fundamental to the environmental well-being of our community. And whereas 117 parks on approximately 11,000 acres of land, 50 miles of greenways, four nature centers provide a place for children and adults to connect with nature and recreate outdoors. And whereas these same centers also offer adults and seniors the opportunities to participate in cultural arts, such as dancing, drawing, music and multicultural events, fitness and athletics. And whereas Metro Parks offers a year-round supervised program for individuals with disabilities and has done so for more than 35 years, focusing on adult and day programs, monthly weekend activities for all ages and summer day camp. And whereas the U.S. House of Representatives is designated July as Parks and Recreation Month. And whereas it is fitting and proper for the Metro Council recognizes and designation of the month of July as Parks and Recreation Month and encourage all citizens of Nashville to join us in recognizing the importance of our nation's parks and recreation facilities and to learn more about how to support the places that bring our communities a higher quality of life, safer places to play and healthy alternatives through recreation programming for everyone. Now, therefore, <laughs> The Metro Council hereby goes on record as recognizing July as Park and Recreation Month in the City Council. The Metropolitan Council Office is directed to prepare a copy of this resolution to be presented to Mr. George Anderson, Chair of the Metro Board of Parks and Recreation, and Tommy Lynch, Director of Parks and Recreation Department. This resolution shall take effect from and after its adoption, the welfare of the Metropolitan National Government, Davidson County, requiring it. Congratulations, gentlemen. Seeing no more announcements in the queue, this now close our uh, time for council announcements. Thank you.